Hola chicos, this is our video over present tense ER and IR verb conjugations. Toda la información está en página 150 del libro Avancemos. Estamos en unidad 3, lección 1 de español 1. What's great is we've already gone over AR verb conjugation, so we're going to continue with the other two that we haven't studied yet. ER and IR verbs, some good things about them is the regular verbs, we know that they're going to be a little bit different from our AR verbs that we learned last semester. But we're going to kind of follow the same rules as far as conjugation goes. So for ER and IR verbs, they're actually going to be very helpful because they conjugate the exact same except for the nosotros and vosotros forms. The only thing that's going to change is there's going to be a small letter change in the nosotros and vosotros form, but what's great is it's going to match the ending of the infinitive, either an I or an E. We'll see that in just a moment. Steps to conjugating. Remember, we have to start with our infinitive, so first I have to identify what is my infinitive. Is it an AR verb like cantar? Is it an ER verb like leer? Is it an IR verb like escribir? So first I identify my infinitive and I drop that ending, AR, ER, or IR. Next thing I need to do is identify my subject of the sentence. Is it yo, tu, el, ella, nosotros, etc.? And finally, I'm going to add my new endings to the stem, the part without the ending, to match the new subject. Here we go. I have my ER and IR endings. As I mentioned, what's great about these is four of them are identical. So regardless of a ER or IR verb, my yo form is always O. My ending for my to form will be S. For el, ella, usted form, it will always be E, the letter E. In the jumping ahead over the nosotros and vosotros for a minute, the ER and I are both for ellos, ellas, ustedes in the plural form. This bottom one here will be EN. N. If I'm working with an ER verb, it's EMOS and EIS. So notice it's got the same letter as it would for the infinitive. Leer. So if it ends in ER, it's emos and es. If I'm working with an IR verb like compartir or escribir, it will end in emos and es. We'll see that in the examples ahead. In your notes, if you will conjugate the verb vender, vender significa to sell. Notice it's an ER verb, so I went with the emos and es endings for the nosotros and vosotros. So my conjugations are vendo, vendes, vende, vendemos, vendes, and venden. Hay un ejemplo. Mario vende comida en la cafeteria. Mario sells food in the cafeteria. Please pause the video to make sure you have this copied into your notes. Ahora, un verbo IR, so compartir, this one ends in IR, so this is the verb to share. Notice, once again, my endings are the same as the ER, so comparto, compartes, comparte, and comparten in the EOS form. Since I'm working with an IR verb, my, my nosotros and vosotros, remember it ends in an I, so I'm going to put that, my I endings, compartimos and compartis. One way I tell students to remember this one, a helpful trick is, remember, we here in St. Louis have emos as a popular St. Louis-style pizza, so compartimos, emos. Ejemplo, compartimos las uvas. We are sharing the grapes. Gracias por ver este video y por favor haz la prueba después. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you follow up with the Google form that follows in the link below the video. Muchas gracias y adiós.